Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration of piping systems. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 5, Inspection, Examination, and Pressure Testing Practices. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 5, as well as reviews of some of the important subclauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the subclauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in clause 5 accompanied by the subclauses. Development of an inspection plan. An inspection plan shall be established for all piping systems and or circuits and associated pressure relieving devices within the scope of API 570. The inspection plan shall be developed by the inspector and or engineer. A corrosion specialist shall be consulted when needed to designate potential damage mechanisms and specific locations where damage mechanisms may occur. Piping systems shall be evaluated based on present or potential types of damage mechanisms. The methods and the extent of NDE shall be evaluated to assure that the specified techniques can adequately identify the damage mechanism and the extent and severity of damage. Minimum contents of an inspection plan. The inspection plan shall contain the inspection tasks and schedule required to monitor damage mechanisms and assure the mechanical integrity of the equipment, pressure vessel or pressure relieving device. The plan should define the types of inspection needed, for example internal, external, Identify the next inspection date for each inspection type. Describe the inspection and NDE techniques. Describe the extent and locations of inspection and NDE. Describe the surface cleaning requirements needed for inspection and examinations. Describe the requirements of any needed pressure test, for example type of test, test pressure, and duration, and describe any previously planned repairs. Risk-based inspection, RBI, can be used to determine inspection intervals and the type and extent of future inspection examinations. RBI assessment determines risk by combining the probability and the consequence of equipment failure. When an owner user chooses to conduct RBI assessment, it shall include a systematic evaluation of both the probability of failure and the consequence of failure in accordance with API 580. API 581 details an RBI methodology that has all of the key elements defined in API 580. Identifying and evaluating potential damage mechanisms, current equipment condition, and the effectiveness of the past inspections are important steps in assessing the probability of piping failure. Probability assessment. The probability assessment shall be based on all forms of damage that could reasonably be expected to affect a vessel in any particular service. Additionally, the effectiveness of the inspection practices, tools, and techniques used for finding the potential damage mechanisms shall be evaluated. 
Consequence assessment. The consequence of a release is dependent on type and amount of process fluid contained in the equipment. The consequence assessment shall consider the potential incidents that may occur as a result of fluid release, the size of a potential release, and the type of a potential release, includes explosion, fire, or toxic exposure. The assessment shall also determine the potential incidents that may occur as a result of fluid release, which may include health effects, environmental damage, equipment damage, and equipment downtime. Records review Before performing any of the required API 570 inspections, Inspectors shall familiarize themselves with prior history of piping system for which they are responsible. Review piping systems. Prior inspection results. Prior repairs. Current inspection plan. And or other similar service inspections. Inspection for different types of damage mechanisms and failure modes. Detailed information concerning common damage mechanisms, critical factors, appearance, and typical inspection and monitoring techniques are found in a PI 571. The presence or potential of damage in equipment is dependent upon its material of construction, design, construction, and operating conditions. The inspector should be familiar with these conditions and with the causes and characteristics of potential defects and damage mechanisms. Review questions. Question number one. Who shall be consulted when putting together the inspection plan for vessels? Answer is C. Question number two. Who shall be consulted to identify clarify potential damage mechanisms and specific locations where degradation may occur? Answer is C. Question number three. The inspection plan shall include as a minimum. Answer is B. Question number four. In conducting a risk-based inspection. RBI, identifying and evaluating potential damage mechanisms. Answer is C. Question number five. Identifying and evaluating process fluids, potential injuries, equipment damage, and downtime are important steps in assessing. Answer is B. Question number six. The probability assessment for risk-based inspection, RBI, must be based on all forms of damage that Answer is B. Question number seven. Before performing required inspections, inspectors shall familiarize themselves with. Answer is B.
This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.